Hello, in this problem we're going to solve the 2014 AMC 10B problem 24, which was also the 12B problem 18. This problem was made by request in the comments. If you would like a problem solved in the early stages of this channel, I will solve requested problems that I am able to solve. Okay, so uh, feel free to comment if you'd like one solved. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are to be arranged in a circle, okay? An arrangement is bad uh, if it is not true that for every n from 1 to 15, one can find a subset of the numbers, that is 1 through 5, that appear consecutively on the circle that sum to n. Okay, pause there because it's kind of hard to understand, what did we just read? So let's think about this. It's kind of weird because of the bad is a negative and not true. Uh, what if we switch the thinking and think about it as is good? If this is when it's bad, it would be good when it's the opposite. So it's good if it is true that for every n from 1 to 15, one can find a subset of the numbers that appear consecutively on the circle that sum to n. So let's just, to make sense of this, pick an n value, say 7, right? So for 7, uh, is there a subset of numbers on the circle, say 5 and 2, that appear consecutively that add to 7? In this case, this would be what we want. This one accomplishes the task. It's bad then if this doesn't happen for every n from 1 to 15. We're going to need to find some kind of reasoning that's going to shorten this process for us or we're going to be here a long time and not have time to get to 25 or go back and check an answer on something we weren't sure about, that kind of thing. So how can we make this a little simpler? Well, the fact should stand to reason that for the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, every circle is going to have that sum simply by having the number 1 on circle and the number two on the circle three four and five the number by itself accomplishes a sum of that value so we don't need to worry about checking one through five furthermore we could take away five and what's left is ten or take away four and what's left will be eleven this is because the sum of one to five is fifteen and by taking away five four three two and one we will get 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 as well. Or, and 15 if you take nothing away. So uh, any four numbers can achieve uh, those results of 11 through 14. So we don't need to check um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15 because those are already checked for us. Uh, we just take away a 5 and these four sum to 10, for instance. I forgot to mention the 10 earlier. Okay, so... That means we only have to check 6, 7, 8, and 9, and we're trying to create a scenario where one of these won't exist. So there is another shortcut, but we might not perceive it yet. And in fact, I didn't perceive it right away, so I'm going to develop the shortcut. Let's start with where I would attack first. Let's say, is there a way to achieve any circle that doesn't have a sum of 6 for some consecutive members? What does that mean? It means 5 and 1 cannot appear side by side on the circle. Neither can 4 or 2, and neither can 1, 2, and 3. Are there any other ways to get 6? You can kind of inspect a little bit and think about it. 4, 5, no. Uh, you know, that's it. That's the only ways that you can do it. So let's try to make sure we can, if, can we create a circle that doesn't have these combos? And I'm just going to start with putting a 5 here. If I put a 5 here, then 1 cannot go here or here. It's going to have to go right or left. The choice of right or left is kind of irrelevant because we can make a mirror image and it talks about arrangements that differ only by a rotation or a reflection are considered the same. So I could rotate this over here and anything with the 1 in this position is the same as the 1 with this position. So next up, we need to have uh, 1, 2, and 3 not by each other and 4 and 2 have to be separated. So if 4 and 2 were over here, they'd be connected. Therefore, this number would have to be either 4 or 2. Um, let's make it 
uh, two, so that if we put a four there, you'd have one, two, and three going here. So then we can put the four here to break up the chain of two, one, and three, and now we've accomplished no six in this arrangement. So I don't have five and one, I don't have four and two, and I don't have one, two, and three. So this would be a bad arrangement because it's not good, because it doesn't hit the value of six with the consecutive sum. Okay, that's great. Are there any others? Um, not really for six, because if I switch the four and two, again, you'll have one, two, and three here. And if I move the one to the second position, I'll just get mirror image solutions, which are reflections. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's go to no seven, right? What if there's no seven? Okay, uh, we'll start with all the ways you can make seven. You can make it with um, three and four. You can make it with five and two. You can also make it with four, two, and one. Okay, pick three and four, for instance. We'll start three at the top. Again, same reasoning as over here. I can put four in the lower right so that they're not connected. Furthermore, two and one cannot go here and here because that will be seven, four, two, and one. So we're going to need to place either the two or the one in this position. So let's try the two here first. Um, again, we actually have to put the two there because if I don't, if I put the uh, one here, then five and two will go over here and make seven, which we're trying to avoid. Um, so then two can go here. Again, one cannot go in this position. Five has to go here and one here. Let's double check. Three and four, not connected. Five and two, not connected. Four, two and one, not connected. Are there any other ways to make seven? You should always be asking yourself these kinds of questions because they're, they're famous for being tricky on the test. So if I look one more time, obviously five would need two more, four would need three more, we've done that, and the other three numbers, three, two, and one, don't make seven. So this is it. This is the only way you can get no sum of seven with an arrangement. Next question, is this a rotation or reflection of this? It's definitely not because five and two are side by side and they're not here, so this is a unique solution. Now comes for the second shortcut. You don't have to recognize it. You can still get it right if you don't see this shortcut. But if you target no eight, right? Think about this. If I had a sum of seven, right, on a circle, right, four plus three, what would the other numbers add up to? Since all five numbers add up to 15 and there's seven right here, the rest of the numbers on the circle are going to have to be eight. Any time there's no 7, there will also be no 8. So we don't actually have to check to see if we get 8 because it's the equivalent of no 7. And if you do check, if you don't perceive that and you happen to check, you can create something like this. Let's explore what happens in that scenario. Um, so 8 can be made with 5 and 3. If I don't use the 3, I can do 5, 2, and 1. If I don't use a 5, I can do 4 with 3 with 1. If I don't use the 3, 4, 2, and 1 won't cut it, and 3 and on don't cut it. These are the only arrangements that work. So then, uh, let's start with 5 and 3. They have to be separated. Put 5 here and 3 here. Now, 4, 3, and 1 cannot go here. So 4 and 1 cannot go here, so I have to split up the 4 and the 1. If I put the 4 here... Then 1 and 2, I should erase this so you can see better. Not enough board space. All right, 5 and 3. Um, and then I have to, cannot put 4 and 1 right here because then I'll have 4, 3, and 1. So if I put the 4 up here, the problem is 2 and 1 will go right here. So I can't put the 4 there. So therefore, it must be... Uh, that I put the 1 right here, and we have left 4 and 2. The 2 cannot go here, so the 4 has to go here, and 2 has to go here. Now let's check. There's no way I got this. 5 and 3 separated. 5, 2, and 1 separated. 4, 3, and 1 separated. And you might feel good about this. In fact, some people probably got tricked, but you should have been double-checking to see if you get 5, 4, 2, 
3, 1, which is the exact same order as this arrangement. So indeed, there are only two. By similar reasoning, the thought of no 9 is equivalent to not having a 6, because if you had a 6, you would also have 9 by the remaining numbers. Therefore, there are only two solutions. If you like this video, please subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next clip.